those houses look like they cost a lot of money. Welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob Employee of the Month. Although we haven't been in the Crest Crab for quite a while. More fountains. A lot of things we can look at. I wonder what they fill that pool with. I feel like the density of things to look at is lower in this part of the game than it was before. I've heard that a man's home is his castle, but that is just nuts. I guess the next best thing to traveling is to live in a house that's traveled. That mansion looks kind of plain compared to the others, but I take it. Yeah, it's just modern, more modern architecture than the others. I guess we're going to the golden place. Or a shack. I wonder what kind of car he drives. My golden coconuts. <laughs> so, ha! We already Sheesh. found another variety of coconut. Oh, now come on. There has to be a better use for money than that. I have to squint to even look at that house. It's like chrome, but. Another color. Is leaning right over that fence. I hear Carlton Ritz. I hear an interesting Hi. How are you doing on this fine day? Idea. Not good. I'm angry. How to get those coconuts. Why are you angry? The sun is shining. Your house is made of gold. Yeah, gold, and it's all mine, you hear? You can't have it. Whoa, whoa, I don't want it. Why are you so upset? I'm sorry for yelling. It's just that no good neighbor of mine, Cowfish Craig. Not only does he make the whole neighborhood look bad by living in a tool shed, but he took one of my golden coconuts. Do you have any idea how long it takes to grow a golden coconut? Longer than a platinum plum? Not funny. Anyway, now I have to stay out here and guard my own property. Sheesh. Can you pay someone else to do that? But also, is that do you guys like have the super fancy gated community that for some reason doesn't have a an HOA to prevent somebody from living in a shed and degrading your property values? I guess I can go without pondering the specifics of real estate in SpongeBob, but maybe I can help you to get your golden coconut back. You would do that? I'll tell you what. You get my coconut back, and I'll give you a king's ransom. A king's ransom, huh? Sounds good to me. Okay, I'll give it a try. Why would Cowfish Craig take one of your coconuts? Search me. He's probably angry at us for trying to buy out his land. But his shack is an eyesore. It's keeping all of our property values down. Well, he has as much right to live here as you do. Actually, he has more. He was here first. Waverly Hills was built around him. Well, there you go. That doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. To me, it just sounds like they made a poor decision as to where to build those boys. Do you know where I could get a jacket? They won't let me into Oxygen Springs without one. I don't have any to lend you. Maybe you could get one from Sublime Seafoods. They have lots of extras. Well, I gotta go! Please keep off the path. It'll tarnish. But what about the grass? Sheesh. I guess the grass is fine. Could actually go further on the road for some reason. And you'll think that road would end since there won't be much point in having a gate otherwise. That shack looks a little out of place here. A halfway sunk sink. What was that? That doesn't look like anything I've ever seen in any SpongeBob piece of media. That looks like a makeshift oil drill. I mean, how long can you use the same oil drill here? Shack, sweet shack. Interesting. Hi. Looks like there's looks like there's an old cowboy boot in there. Oh. No wonder that he's shape. friends with Sandy. Yeah. They both have Texas on the brain. But where is it? So, what exactly is this guy's connection to Texas? He's not exactly land oriented 
It doesn't sound like he came from Texas. Because he's been here for a long while. Using a book as a... I don't think it's supposed to like patch up a pipe, no. Search I can look at that. I think he's watching the good, the bad, and the orca. Now when I was at I went so many years of my life without actually knowing what the third part of the good, the bad, and the blank was actually supposed to be, because I heard parodies of it so many times without ever actually having heard the original. Ah. Nice place you got here. Much obliged, partner. My name's SpongeBob SquarePants. What's your name? Folks around here call me Cowfish Craig. Not that I give two hoots what folks around here do. Aha! Uh -huh. You're the one Sandy sent me to find. I should have known. Yeah. May I call you Cowfish? I'm not too particular about names and such. A man is a man by virtue of his deeds, not his title. Including his deeds to his by lab. any other name would still sting like crazy if you sat on it. Ouch! I was curious, Mr. Cowfish. Why don't you live in a big old mansion like all these other people? You think a man's house says something about him? I'll let you in on a little secret. A humble man is a happy man. Don't let yourself get caught up in all them our fancy hooplas. Before you know it, all your luxuries have turned into necessities. What about a heated pool? Ah. That'd be nice, huh? Yeah, actually a heated pool would rock. And take their golden coconuts. I spoke with your neighbor. He says you took one of his golden coconuts. Well, that figures. I didn't take nothing. He's got that darn palm tree hanging over my fence, dropping those silly, shiny coconuts in my yard. I just picked one up to prove a point is all. He's always getting his shorts in a bunch about something. Well, um, yeah. do you still have it? He'd really like it back. I ain't giving it back. Besides, I'm putting it to really good use. What are you using it for? A paperweight. It's real heavy. What if I find you a new paperweight? Ah, horse feathers. All right, fine. If you can find something you can replace it with, be my guest. It's just down the hall. Thank you, Mr. Cowfish, yeah. sir. I'd enjoy a chunk of gold, I guess. Would be a pretty good paperweight as long as it doesn't roll around. This stuff's pretty heavy. Say, do you have any idea where I could find a jacket? I need one to get into Oxygen Springs. Now, what would you want to go there for? Nothing there but guppies with their cellular telephones and their fancy shoes and their intranet. Ugh, do yourself a favor. Don't bother. Well, actually, I really need to go there. It's the yeah. only place I can get oxygen to refuel my friend's rocket. Oh, well, in that case, I wish you luck. I'll lend you one of my jackets, but uh, I don't own any. Sometimes I go down to Sublime Seafoods and they'll lend me a jacket because they got a dress code, too. Oh, wait, that won't work. They always take it back when you're done eating. Hmm. Maybe they'd let me use one for a while if I ask nicely. Could be, son. Could be. But I doubt it. Well, I've got to go. Talk to you later. Get along, little doggy. Ah. Ah. It's kind of weird. Using internet as I'm just speaking of. <laughs> what the heck? Of internet when internets are an actual thing. I've used internets. I wasn't expecting this. A bill. What's the deal with the bill? Those must be relatives of Cowfish Craig's. It's not like the deed to this land, is it? That's a big old pipe. Well, I mean, if this is like a pressure sensor below the below the coconut, it's, this isn't gonna weigh the same. Thank you, monkey. So much you took way too long. It's weird, they had all these fancy animations of him walking up to here, but not him actually replacing the coconut. Wow! A normal coconut! Bet I could swap it with the golden coconut. What? I don't want to do that. <laughs> I could, but I don't want to. Those must be relatives of Cowfish Craig's. Wait a minute. Those must be relatives of Cowfish Craig's. Can't look at that hole, we're not gonna acknowledge that. Sure. You're a weird, weird one, Bobby. Yeah. I don't wanna do that. 
Well, in that case. Got your nut. I got your golden coconut back. Oh, my precious golden coconut. My precious, my precious. Thank you so much, strange square thing. Let me give you your reward. Here you are. Was that supposed to be a reference to a quarter? Well, I don't carry much cash on me. Sorry. Gee, thanks. The Lord of the Rings. How many things has this reference so far? There was such a nice guide to the galaxy on point. We just did Indiana Jones. That could have been one of the rings. Odd things that Sunshine does not normally do, but I like the AWA interpretation of SpongeBob. It's quite different and strange, but. So, who am I gonna call though? I don't think I've established that. Well, I never did go to that, whatever it's called, for some reason. I guess in some capacity, calling them will be helpful. I don't think Sandy would have any help for us. Hi, Sandy. I'm Howdy. I see you. I just kind of want to see if that guy was supposed to tell me where how I can get there. Let's see real quick. See if he's how I get that on my map. He said I can go to that one place, but I haven't actually acknowledged the existence of that place yet for some reason. I like walking around this time. <laughs> I just did a bunch of walking, I'm not gonna worry about that. So let's just throw a quarter in here and see what happens. Did I eat our coin? Oh wait. Central has a really hard time saying this for some reason. Mademoiselle, how silly of me. Try again. Oh my goodness, a thousand apologies. Sir. You got it. Well, sir, we are very easy to find. We are we are located just south of Waverly Hill. Great, Th thanks. Adieu, sir. That would be fairly funny if SpongeBob was one of the many characters in animation who was male but voiced by a female voice actress. Like, for instance, Timmy Turner, Bart Simpson, or basically anyone else. But that's actually not the case with Spongebob. Oh jeez, we've already cleared everything out. Not a lot of stuff to see here. Anyways, we'll go to Sublime Seafood next time, next episode. Bye everyone.